US uh, is leading the way when it comes to the kind of systems that DARPA produced for their robotics challenge uh, and also some efforts in, in Japan. But on the kind of uh, explosive ordnance disposal systems that the military uses on a day-to-day -day basis and have, and have used in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, there's, it's the US again and then uh, the UK also. Um, the UK was one of the pioneers for this technology. And then there's also efforts in Israel. Boston Dynamics is kind of one of the, one of the leading players when it comes to humanoid robotics and, and a various, you know, the kind of the walking systems. Uh, they're heavily involved with DARPA programs. Google's also brought into the, uh, to the UAV market with, uh, with Titan Aerospace. I have a little trouble seeing what Google sees with Boston Dynamics. They did make a very interesting, uh, they did make a very interesting acquisition with Boston Dynamics, which is some of the most advanced on the ground robotics programs in the world. The initial idea is to have robots that can help soldiers in the field move logistics and you know, move supplies, carry loads and things like that, kind of like uh, you know, the donkeys of the 21st century, if you will. The kind of traditional powerhouses in, in kind of the aerospace industry and, and particularly in the, in the UAV industry, uh, like the Northrop Grumman, uh, Lockheed Martin, General Atomics, uh, and then in the UK and, 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 and BAE Systems and, and elsewhere. Um, the US companies are trying to maintain their, their traditional kind of customer base and, and build on their existing products, but also looking forward to the next generation of, of UAVs, so-called uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Um, there's a few programs underway. Europe um, it's kind of missed the boat somewhat on the, on the UAV front. Um, a few small specialist companies and then a few kind of mid-size uh, platforms have come out but um, it kind of it's a difficult situation because no single country has the, the demand in terms of a volume order for a next generation uh, UAV.